episode 2457 of the number one podcast and Apple podcast for job search. This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm your host, Jeff Offen, the big game hunter, and welcome. Every once in a while, I like to put out a LinkedIn show to talk with you about ways to use it better, and that's what today is all about. A short show, a couple of minutes, good investment of your time. Hope you enjoy it. Share it. Share it on LinkedIn. Share it wherever you like. If you're on Twitter, Rumble, Truth Social, wherever it is, just share it. It'll help other people. And now let's get going. This is about effectively using LinkedIn, even when you are job hunting. And it has benefits for when you are job hunting. And let's always start off with having a complete profile. That should be always a given. But it's important to update your profile regularly. I would suggest every three to four months, I'll settle for every six. And I say that because you should be keeping your profile up to date. Why? The person who gets ahead isn't always the smartest or work the hardest, although those are great qualities to have. People get ahead by being alert to opportunity. Sometimes they're internal to their organization, most of the time, they're external. And you want people to be reaching out to you about opportunities that reflect your experiences and how you can solve their problems. Updating your profile helps to keep you up to date in people's minds. And before you do that, turn off the privacy setting notification related to letting your network know that you've made a change then after you've made the change, you can turn it back on because you're probably connected with people at work. You don't want to necessarily notify them that you're you're updating your profile. It's one of the first associations with someone looking for a job. Number two is expand your network. Start reaching out to people who you're curious about. They may work for organizations that you're interested in. Follow... uh, connect, do things that allow you to start developing a relationship. Number three is publish content on the platform. You've done something interesting. You write an article for LinkedIn about it, or you have an opinion about something. Let's stay out of politics, please. And you think it's worthwhile for others because part of what you want to do is become the subject matter expert in people's minds. Share content with people. You may read an article, share the link, invite conversation with people. It does make a difference. Engage in conversations. Yesterday, I coached someone about interviewing. I started the conversation asking her, how did you find out about me? And she said, there was a news article on LinkedIn that you commented on. I thought, Your comment was interesting. Most of the others were pretty bland. So I decided to look you up on your website and on YouTube and found, you know, you were interesting and I thought you could help me. Engaging in conversations allows people to get to know you in advance of actual contact. And thus, you want to be attractive to recruiters, corporate and third party, hiring managers, and seen as a subject matter expert. This is how you do it. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you found this helpful. Visit my website, TheBigGameHunter.us. There's a ton in the blog that will help you. In addition, you can schedule time for a free discovery call or schedule time for coaching. Find out about my courses that you can rent or buy, my books and guides. There's just a lot there that will help you. Also, connect with me on LinkedIn at LinkedIn.com forward slash IN forward slash TheBigGameHunter. Have a terrific day and be great.